Well, the Archdiocese of New Orleans unveiled a statue today that may be controversial to some as meant to raise awareness of the Catholic's faith's teachings on immigration. How the church has helped refugees to resettle for decades. The Catholic Charities Arm has helped them resettle here in Louisiana and other cities across America. The Archdiocese supports the Biden administration's plan to increase that work. It's a position the Archdiocese understands can be divisive. Tan Trung puts that in focus tonight. Angels unawares arrived at Notre Dame Seminary Friday morning. A replica of an original commissioned by Pope Francis, the bronze statue is meant to convey the Catholic message that migrants, refugees, and immigrants bring value to communities. The United States is a place that is filled with great history because of immigration and because of people who have settled here as refugees. And it's not just a story of the past, it's a story of today. But today's political climate may make some people view this statue in a different light. Archbishop Gregory Amond acknowledges that Catholicism's compassion-driven policy on immigration can be unpopular. We have been criticized for our position on this issue, but our position on this issue is rooted in scripture, it's rooted in justice, and it's rooted in charity. From the war in Vietnam to the more recent war in Syria, Catholic Charities has a long history of helping refugees transition to the U.S. The Archbishop hopes that will increase. When President Trump was in office, the cap on refugee resettlements was lowered each year, hitting a record low of 15,000 by the time he left office. President Biden promised to reverse the Trump administration's restrictions on the refugee resettlement program. He hasn't moved on that promise yet. Meanwhile, critics of the president say the situation at the southern border is reaching crisis levels. You can see all the young children, all under the age of six. With alarming numbers of migrant children trying to cross the border, Louisiana Senator John Kennedy and 18 other Republicans visited Texas last month. Appearing on Fox News this week, he said Biden's approach to illegal immigrants is inviting trouble. Many of, of these folks will go on welfare, uh, particularly if they can make it to a sanctuary city or a blue state. Most can agree this statue contains some fine details, but when it comes to its purpose, it may highlight the division between faith and politics. Tan Trung, Eyewitness News. So far, that statue has traveled to Boston, Brooklyn, Atlanta, and Miami. It'll stay here in New Orleans for six weeks.